want to get a 500 star coin code since it is the holiday season and I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. I thought that it is the perfect time to do a little giveaway or maybe not even a little. You know, I'm a big procrastinator and I either do nothing or I want to do something really big perfect, you know? So I thought that since, you know, as I said, it's December, it's the holidays, why don't I have a giveaway? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. So instead of doing one big giveaway, like one winner gets 10,000 star coins, I thought that I would have a few 500 star coin giveaways. As of now, the plan is to have two each week one of them on Wednesday and then one on Saturday and they're going to be a little different. I want the Wednesday one to be about, you know, some sort of topic. I don't know. I just pick a theme and then people have to submit something. I don't like the giveaways where it's like you just have to tell your life story and why you deserve it more. I feel like it's better to choose some themes. I'm not completely sure which ones I should do. I know the one for today. I was supposed to post this video on Wednesday, but I was just so busy. Anyway, the Wednesday video is going to be kind of like answer submissions and I'm going to choose based on that. And then the Saturday one, I want it to be a little different. This is not going to be that video. Um, So I guess I kind of skipped the Saturday because this one is supposed to be Wednesday, as I said. So anyway, the Saturday one, I have to figure out the time for this so that, you know, the most... I'm gonna check my analytics and see when most people have the time, but I kind of want it to be the kind where I just put a video and then parts of the code. I think the code is like, I don't know, let's say EQY75, like just random numbers and it's scattered throughout the video. I remember videos like that were popular, like... I don't know, probably more than a year ago now, maybe even earlier than that, because I remember I, I don't know why, but I really liked them. I mean, I never actually got the code, which is sad. I mean, I got it, but I was not the first one to get it because these kinds of codes, only one person can, you know, redeem, receive, whatever. But I don't know, just the excitement and the adrenaline rush, I kind of liked it. So yeah, I just wanted to do these two types of giveaways. Anyway, for the Wednesday ones and today's one, all you have to do, I think I'm gonna put it at the top of the description and in the pinned comment, but you basically have to go, I think, to the Google Forms and then just write your answer. It really doesn't have to be long, honestly, it can be just a few sentences. So the five requirements to enter the giveaway are obviously to answer the question, to let me know your channel name and to be subscribed, to comment what year you started playing Star Stable and to also let me know where I can contact you in case that you win, be it email, TikTok, Instagram, just any sort of social media where I can reach you and let you know the code. But I do have to give a disclaimer that I will never ask for any of your personal information in regards to, you know, just general personal information and of course no sourceable information. I will never ask you for your email that is associated to your sourceable account or your password, anything like that. If any anyone contacts you, especially if they claim that they're me, just block and report them. I would never do that. That is against the terms of service and you must never let other people know your password because obviously they can just ruin your account. But other than that, good luck to everyone. So I thought that the best way to start all of this off would be to answer the question of how everyone started playing Star Stable. How did you find out about it? Was it through friends? family? Did you see an ad, video, picture? So just let me know. I would honestly really like to know everyone's answers because I feel like it's so interesting to have these conversations because everyone's experience is unique. I mean, obviously a lot of people are like, okay, I found it through YouTube or through a friend, but it's always a little different. And I would actually really like to see how everyone started playing. Of course, I'll also share my story. I really wonder how long all of you guys have been playing for. I feel like I'm considered an old player now because I started in 2016 and I remember being a noob and being like, oh my gosh, people have been playing this game for so long and now it's like, yeah, it's been almost seven years, huh? 
So as I stated before, I started playing Star Stable around Easter time of 2016, but I actually found out about the game much earlier. When I was younger, I don't even know how old I was, probably, I don't know, let's say 11. All of my classmates at school played horse. The most enthusiastic ones were myself and two other friends of mine. We were all obsessed with horses because, of course, most of the other girls in class were also pretty actively playing horse, but there were also a lot of boys that played and I don't know why, but we had a whole class account everyone had access to. I don't know if people actually played. I played a couple of times. That was kind of a failure, I guess, but it was fun. It was kind of, I don't know, something that we could do together because other than that, the favorite, I mean, I guess this isn't really related, but the favorite game, quote unquote, that my class would play when we were young is we had this big break that was, I think, after lunch where we went outside of the school, like on the school courtyard or whatever it's called, and we fought, like we we fought. I, we were crazy, I, I don't even know. Like I remember during lunch, people were excitedly looking at each other and like, we're going to fight, right? And then the others were like, yeah, 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 of course. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, we were, we were wild. Obviously, this was kind of unrelated, but anyway, one day one of the two girls that was really actively playing horse told me that her mom found another like really amazing game called Star Stable and that I definitely have to play it. And I was like, I mean, I love horses. I was still in my, you know, horse, horse phase at that time. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to check it out. But what do you have to know about me from that time period is that my English was absolutely horrendous. In my country, we have this exam. You have to take it on three subjects, the mother tongue, then math, and a random subject. And I think you have to like write it three times during the nine years of your like primary schooling. They don't actually count towards your grades or anything. It's just so that the country has the statistics of how good the students do in each subject. And for one year, we had English and I scored a whopping 4%, which I feel like is a bigger achievement than getting a good grade because how do you get 4%? I mean, I didn't study for it, but because, you know, it didn't count, but 4%, oh my gosh. Actually, SSO really helped me improve my English because after I started playing, I would try to implement everything that we learned in school into, you know, my conversations. I specifically remembered when we learned like will, you know, how to use it in a sentence, everything about it. I went home, I logged into SSO and I started using it and I'm honestly so grateful because this game is definitely the biggest factor in me actually knowing English because yeah, I got 4%. I was the worst in class. Anyway, she told me about the game and I tried to go check it out, but the website was in English and I somehow managed to create an account but I didn't know how to download the game or anything, so I just made the account and then I abandoned everything because my parents weren't the most like tech savvy and they didn't know the most English, so I couldn't ask them. And I don't know why I didn't ask the friend, but I just basically abandoned Star Stable and went back to Horse that I played with the other friend that, you know, didn't tell me about SSO. We basically played every day and we skype called i remember i spent one whole summer playing horse i'm not even gonna comment on it but i think a year or two later i kind of stopped playing horse and i don't even know how this happened because i wasn't in my like big horse phase anymore i wasn't really playing any games like in general but i just randomly remembered star stable on one day i don't like i have no idea how i didn't like i wasn't thinking about horses i didn't stumble upon it i just randomly remembered it and i was like you know what i'm going to check it out now and i did i was able to download it i don't know why it didn't automatically start downloading for me when i was younger maybe it did and i didn't notice i don't know basically i was so excited 
I remembered it in the morning and then I started downloading the game, but it said that it would take like seven hours to download. Uh, the Wi-Fi at my home was very interesting. So I started downloading it, but then I went out with my friends. One of them was actually the girl that told me about SSO and I was talking about it and she was so excited. We were gonna play together, all of that. And I came home after almost seven hours and it still wasn't downloaded. Oh my gosh, I was so annoyed. But when I was finally able to play Star Stable, let me tell you, I was so excited. I remember, you know, just so carefully choosing, you know, my character's appearance, name, my horse's name, everything. My first name in SSO is Lily. I've just always loved the name. The only criticism I have of younger me is not choosing I instead of Y. I don't know. I just feel like it looks better. And then for my last name, it also has a meaning. It is kind of cringe. I don't think it's a good last name, but I still wouldn't change it even if I had the opportunity to. I created my character to basically resemble me IRL. I feel like I always do this. And then for my starter, I named him Skyrocket. I don't know why, you know, Sky Rocket. I mean, I do love space, so maybe it's not all that strange. But I chose the, I think like the paint pinto coat just because I've always loved those kinds of colorful coats. And I actually remember once I convinced one of my best friends to download SSO, she chose a bay horse coat for her starter and I was judging her so hard. I don't think I said anything because, you know, it's not her fault that her taste is wrong. But yeah, I was judging her a lot. I have since changed my stance on the bay horses. I do actually really like them. I think they're really beautiful, but I used to be like, you know, there's so many of them. They're so basic. I just know, but I mean, I still have a really soft spot for like paints, pintos, overo, tovero, whatever. I think they're so beautiful, but you know, the bays are really growing on me. In the past year, I just, you know, I just kind of look at them and they look at me and then I look at them and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, they're so pretty. What happened? But yeah, I basically created my account. I started playing and... I was having so much fun. The game, I just, I loved it. I fell in love at first sight. It was amazing. I remember I was talking about it all day, every day. And I was just waiting for the time that I come home from school or from the swim practice and, you know, be able to play SSO. I remember completing all of the quests that you can and reaching level 5. And I wasn't a star rider for the longest time, so I was just doing all of the chores, the daily quests, and I was just training my horses, taking care of horses of my horse. I didn't buy any horse for the longest time, but yeah, it was very fun. One thing that I loved doing was the Moreland Champ, and I mean, I guess also the Fort Pinta one, but the thing is, it was really hard to do the Fort Pinta one because I was not a star rider and back then non-star riders didn't have the ability to jump and the Fort Pinta one really had a lot of points where you had to jump or just, you know, you wouldn't place in the first three. So I usually did the Moreland one because while there is a bridge that obviously makes it easier and faster to get to the finish line, you still had some wiggle room to get to the first three spots. I don't know why I did this. I didn't have that many friends in the beginning because obviously I was a non-star rider level five in Moreland. Like, and the server that I'm on hosts a lot of different countries and mine is probably the smallest one. We're really a minority here. So each time there was a champ, there was obviously more people there. And I was the most obnoxious player ever. Like I would say good luck. I would literally count, you know, <laughs> I would count from, I don't know, three to one, like, oh my gosh, three, two, one, go. I just, I cannot. But I would also always ask if there's anyone from my country. And once a girl was like, oh, hi, I'm also from that country. So we started talking and she actually let me know on this little secret, which are the redeem codes. And let me tell you, SSO is robbing everyone right now because back then we were getting so many codes and especially the Starcoin codes. 
I feel like we got one literally every month and they were substantial codes like you know a few 50 star coin codes a 200 star coin code and I remember a time where the Swedish people got 500 star coin code I was so jealous and so mad I don't know why they got it I don't remember but it was only for them and oh my gosh I I was not happy but there was a working star rider code and oh my gosh it got me hooked on SSO even more the Easter event was going on at the time so I did all of the original quests like you know finding the Easter eggs all of that I remember just riding around at Steve's and I loved it I remember religiously watching Stacy plays as I played because when I play a game not as much now and I feel like there's no SSO YouTubers that would would fit my specific like you know the specific thing that I kind of want to watch right now but a lot of times in the past when I would play a specific game I would want to have a YouTuber playing that game and just you know listen to them while I played because obviously I couldn't watch it didn't matter if we were doing the same thing or not I just wanted that but I think that could actually be a theme for next week, like, you know, SSO YouTubers or old SSO YouTubers or I don't know, maybe what you watch or what you do while you play, I don't know. But that's kind of my story. So I started playing in 2016. My friend told me about the game a year or two prior and I've been playing ever since. Okay, not really. I'm kind of catfishing you because I'm not really an active player. I usually just play SSO for YouTube but anytime there's you know events festivals I actually do play at least a little bit more though I do have a lot of schoolwork I am pretty busy but I don't know I kind of like doing YouTube so I do do it a lot but with studying and trying to keep my social life it can be a little hard to also try to play SSO but anyway this is my story this sounds a little funny this is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck to everyone and make sure to meet all of the requirements. And again, good luck to everyone. This is gonna be it. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!